हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंजीनियरिंग स्टॉफ माय सेल्फ संतोष तंबोली आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो इन्फॉर्म योर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी थ्री एड्रेस कोड दैट मींस थ्री एसी फॉर लूप इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी सी थ्री एड्रेस कोड फॉर other type of instructions but today we will see how to write three address code for any type of loop generally there are two types of methods to write the three ac structure first one is triple and the second quadruple that we already saw in earlier videos but whenever program contains any loop or conditional statements it is not possible to construct triple structure only quadruple structure can be created now how it is created let's consider one example as you can see on the slide we consider here while loop while a less than b do so inside this while loop we write one conditional statement if c less than d then x equal to y plus z that means if value of c is less than d then control goes to this statement that is x equal to y plus z that means these two instructions are inside this while loop that means these two instructions will be executed till the value of a is less than b once this a value is greater than or equal to b control comes out from this loop so we need to write this loop in terms of 3 ac form now how let's see so first what we will do for this programming instructions we write three ac statements so let us consider the address memory address start from 0 so we write this while a less than b in terms of if statement because in 3 ac there is no statement for any type of loop so we need to convert this loop in terms of if statement so as you can see if a less than b then go to address 102 okay see carefully if the value of a is less than b then we need to execute this statement if c less than d okay so if a less than b then go to 102 and as you can see at this address 102 we return this statement if c less than d that means the control goes to this statement okay so now you understood this but if a value is greater than or equal to b so what we will do so at this 101 address we return go to 107 so what is this 107 so this 107 is nothing but the instruction which is outside the loop so this 107 represents exit from the while loop okay now so if a less than b then go to 102 so at this 102 memory address we return here if c less than d then go to 104 okay so see carefully in this programming statement if c less than d then we need to execute this statement that is x equal to y plus z okay so x equal to y plus z this statement need to be executed if value of c is less than d so here we need to go to 104 so at this 104 we return t1 is equal to y plus z so t1 is nothing but the temporary variable 
okay so t1 is equal to y plus z and at this 105 location we return x equal to t1 so y value is assigned to this t1 then go to 100 so why we return go to 100 because after executing this x equal to y plus z then control need to go to the while condition because we need to execute these two statement till a value is less than b so after executing this x equal to y plus z we need to go again to this while loop hence we return here go to 100 so 100 is nothing but this if a less than b so these statements will be executed till a less than b okay now so at this position 103 we again return here go to 100 so why we write go to 100 here because if c value is greater than or equal to d that means x equal to y plus z this statement will not be executed but the control again go to this while condition hence we return here go to 100 at memory address 103 and once this a value is greater than or equal to b we come out from this loop and our cursor will be at 107 so i hope this 3 ac statements you understood now what you will do these three AC statements we will convert into quadruple structure. So let's see how. So as you can see, quadruple structure is divided into four columns: operator, operand one, operand two, and the result. And these are the memory addresses, which are same as these memory addresses. Now, at this hundred position operator is less than so here we can write less than operand 1 and operand 2 are this a and b respectively and what is the result go to 102 so here result is go to 102 then at this 101 there are no operator operand 1 and operand 2 so we write here dash 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 but the result is go to 107 then at 102 operator is less than operand c and d and the result is 104 so we write the same here 103 there is no operator operands just the result is go to 100 so result is go to 100 and the remaining entries are nothing dash 104 one temporary variable is created that is t1 operator is plus and y and z these are the operands so here plus with the operator operands are y and z and the result gets stored into t1 next at 105 x equal to t1 so here equal to be the operator t1 be the operand 1 there is no second operator but the result stored in x so here we write x at memory address 6 there is no operator operand 1 and operand 2 just the result is go to 100 so here we write go to 100 and this 107 is the uh, in statement which is outside the loop hence no operator operand operand 2 and result will be written here so this is the quadruple structure for the loop statements so i hope you understood this 3 ac statement how can be it can be written if the program statement contains any type of loop thank you very much if you have any doubt post your comments and i will give the solution for this thank you very much